The shootings in Atlanta, several vigils being held overnight in honor of the eight victims. And we're now hearing from a witness who's just speaking out. ABC's Elwin Lopez has more from Atlanta. Good morning, Elwin. Good morning, Eva. Rallying calls to put a stop to anti-Asian hate are playing out across the country. This, as the entire community here continues to mourn the eight lives violently taken away. This morning, the deadly attacks in Metro Atlanta, leaving a community shaken and in disbelief. ¿Qué escuchaste? What did you hear? Yo escuché a, la, a las personas del, del negocio a, al lado de nosotros gr estar gritando. You heard people inside the business yeah. screaming. Rita Barron and her husband Alejandro own the business next door to Young's Asian Massage, where the first of Tuesday's three shootings took place. The only thing separating them and two customers from the rampage was this wall pierced by a bullet. Aquí es donde el balazo salió. This is where the bullet came through. Sí. Of the eight victims, four were killed here. This couple knew all of them, including 33-year-old Delena Yon, who spoke with Rita about expanding her family just the day before. Me dijo, pero quiero tener otro bebé. Le digo, otro. Le digo, oh, she wanted to have más? another baby. Sí. She told you that. Sí. The mother of two robbed of the chance of having a third. When investigators say the suspect, 21-year-old Robert Aaron Long, opened fire. Her husband, Mario, helpless in the room next to her, survived the attack. The killings forever shattering their loved ones. Be an American. Be a decent human being. From coast to coast, Growing out cries denouncing anti-Asian attacks in the wake of the spa shootings. Most times we don't stand up for ourselves, and it's very important that we do something about this. At a rally in Pittsburgh, actress Sandra O oh leading the crowd in a chant. This, as investigators say, they're not ruling out hatred as a motive for the Atlanta area killings. Georgia's attorney general releasing a statement saying in part that the Asian American community deserves to live free from fear, adding that justice must be done for the eight lives that were taken. And guys, Rita tells me it was her husband who kept her and two customers inside their business from coming outside when gunfire rang out. What? Wow, we're still hearing these incredible stories. Elwin Lopez for us. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.